Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson. In this one we'll be breaking down paper 21, one of the extended multiple choice papers from the 2023 October-November exam series. Before we begin it would be greatly appreciated if you'd take a moment to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Also, if you're going to be attempting this paper with me, keep track of your score, because I'll be putting up the grade boundaries at the end of the video. OK, question number one. Some processes carried out by living organisms are listed. Which processes are carried out by all living organisms? So the characteristics of all living organisms are movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion and nutrition. So the only one here that doesn't fit is number one, egestion. So the correct answer is C. Number two, the scientific name for humans is Homo sapiens. What does Homo refer to? So in the binomial system of naming species, the scientific name of an organism is made up of two parts, the genus and the species. The genus always comes first and has a capital letter, so the correct answer here is B. Number three, some structures found in cells are listed. Cell membrane, cell wall, mitochondria and nucleus. Which structures are found in prokaryotic cells? So prokaryotes, like bacteria, have a cell membrane and a cell wall, but no internal membrane-bound organelles, so no nucleus or mitochondria. The correct answer is therefore A. Number four, in a mesophyll cell, where are the chloroplasts found? Chloroplasts, like all other internal organelles, are located in the cytoplasm, so the correct answer here is B. Number five, the diagram shows a flatworm. The flatworm has been magnified by 100 times. What is the actual size of the flatworm? So the diagram of the flatworm has been magnified by 100 times, so to get the actual size we need to divide by 100. So 50 millimetres divided by 100 is 0.5 millimetres. However, the options given are in micrometres, so we need to do a quick conversion. There are 1,000 micrometres in a millimetre, so 0.5 times 1,000 gives us 500 micrometres. So the correct answer is D. Number six, the diagrams show how a cell appears under the microscope at the start of an experiment and after it's been placed in a dilute solution of salts for five minutes. Which statement explains what happens? So the cell on the right is a turgid cell. The vacuole is pushing outwards against the cytoplasm and cell wall. This means that water has entered the cell and as we know, water moves into and out of cells by osmosis. So the answer we're looking for here is C. Number seven, the concentration of nitrate ions is higher inside a root hair cell than in the soil. What would be required for the absorption of nitrate ions into the root hair cell? So the process by which molecules or ions are moved through a cell membrane against a concentration gradient is referred to as active transport. Active transport uses energy from respiration, so mitochondria and oxygen are both required, and the ions are transported by carrier proteins in the membrane, so membrane proteins are also required. The correct answer is therefore B. Number eight, what is the colour change shown by Benedict's solution when heated with a reducing sugar? The answer to this one is B, blue to red. Now there are several chemical tests that you need to know about, so if you need a recap, go and watch my video on topic 4.1. Number nine, the diagram shows the digestive system. Which part absorbs the most water? Now in topic 7.5, we learned that the small intestine is the region where nutrients are absorbed as well as most of the water. So the correct answer is D. Number 10, which statement is correct? The correct statement here is C. The shape of the active site of an enzyme is complementary to its substrate. This, of course, allows the enzyme to bind to its substrate, forming an enzyme-substrate complex. Number 11, the graph shows how the rate of photosynthesis of a plant changes with light intensity at three different carbon dioxide concentrations. In each case, the temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. What is the limiting factor for the rate of photosynthesis at point X on the graph? So the correct answer here is A, carbon dioxide concentration. We know this because the greater the carbon dioxide concentration, the faster the rate of photosynthesis. 
Number 12, the diagram shows a test tube at the start and at the end of an enzyme experiment. At the end of the experiment, the mixture in the test tube contains glycerol, which row correctly identifies the enzyme and the substrate it acts on. So glycerol is one of the subunits of a fat molecule, the other being fatty acids, so the substrate in question is fat. The enzyme that digests fat is lipase, so the correct answer is C. Number 13, the diagram shows the teeth in the lower jaw of a human. Which tooth is a molar? So A is a premolar, B an incisor, and C a canine. So the correct answer is D. Molars have four or five knobbly surfaces called cusps for crushing and grinding food. Number 14, what is meant by chemical digestion? The correct answer here is A. Chemical digestion is the breakdown of large insoluble molecules into small soluble molecules that can be absorbed in the small intestine. Number 15. The diagram shows a villus in the small intestine. What is absorbed at X? So X is pointing to a single vessel called a lacteal. The role of lacteals is to absorb digested fats, so the correct answer is A. Fatty acids. Number 16. What is a description of transpiration? So transpiration can simply be described as a loss of water vapour from leaves. Water evaporates from the surfaces of the mesophyll cells into the air spaces and then diffuses out of the leaves through stomata as water vapour. Question 17. Parts of a plant are listed. Mesophyll cells, root cortex cells, root hair cells, and xylem vessels. What is the pathway taken by water in the plant? The pathway of water through the root, stem, and leaf of a plant is root hair cells, root cortex cells, xylem vessels, and mesophyll cells. So the correct answer is D. 3, 2, 4, 1. Number 18. The diagrams show the single circulation of a fish and the double circulation of a mammal. Which letters represent areas with the most oxygenated blood? So in fish, blood is ejected from the ventricle and becomes oxygenated in the gills, so the area with the most oxygenated blood is S. In mammals, deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle is pumped to the lungs through blood vessel X, the pulmonary artery. In the lungs, the blood is oxygenated before returning to the left atrium through blood vessel Y, the pulmonary vein. The correct answer is therefore B, S and Y. Number 19. What is the role of lymphocytes in the blood? So lymphocytes are one of the two types of white blood cells that you need to know about, the other being phagocytes. Phagocytes engulf pathogens by phagocytosis, whereas lymphocytes produce antibodies. So the correct answer is A. Question 20. A patient was injected with antibodies after being bitten by a poisonous snake. The patient recovered and survived. What describes the effect of the injection in the patient's body? Okay, so the answer we're looking for here is passive immunity, since passive immunity involves acquiring antibodies from another individual. Active immunity, by comparison, involves antibody production in the body of the host. Memory cells are not produced in passive immunity, so the correct answer is D. Question 21. Which table correctly shows the difference in composition of inspired air compared with expired air? So all this question requires you to know is that the air we breathe in, inspired air, contains more oxygen and less carbon dioxide than the air we breathe out. And this is because oxygen is used up by aerobic respiration in the body and carbon dioxide is released as a byproduct. Number 22. Which row shows the correct combination of muscle contractions and the pressure in the thorax when breathing out? So when breathing out, the external intercostal muscles relax and the internal intercostal muscles contract. This pulls the ribcage downwards and inwards, and at the same time the diaphragm relaxes and domes upwards. These actions serve to increase thoracic pressure, causing air to rush out of the lungs. The correct answer is therefore B. Number 23. Three statements about anaerobic respiration are listed. Which statements are correct? 
So the first statement is that in humans, the product is lactic acid. This is correct. Number two, in yeast, the product is lactic acid. This is wrong as yeast produce ethanol and carbon dioxide. And number three, it releases more energy per glucose molecule than aerobic respiration. This is also wrong. In fact, it's the other way around. Aerobic respiration releases much more energy. The only correct statement here is number one. So the answer we're looking for is C. Number 24, what is the balanced chemical equation for a type of respiration that occurs in yeast? Okay, so the balanced chemical equation for anaerobic respiration in yeast is C. C6H12O6, that's glucose, releases two C2H5OH, that's two ethanol molecules, and two CO2. Number 25, the diagram shows the human excretory system. Which labeled structure is the urethra? So A and B are blood vessels, C is a ureter, and D is the urethra. So the correct answer is D. Number 26. The diagram show three types of neurons. L is a sensory neuron, M is a relay neuron, and N is a motor neuron. Which sequence shows the direction that impulses will travel during a reflex action? So during a reflex action, the stimulus is detected by a receptor, and an impulse is sent along a sensory neuron to the spinal cord. The impulse is passed on to a relay neuron and then to the motor neuron, which directs the impulse to an effector, that is, a muscle or gland. The correct answer is therefore A, L to M to N. Number 27. Which statement about rods and cones in the eye is correct? So rods and cones are the light-sensitive cells of the retina. The three different types of cones detect different colours of light, while rods are more sensitive to low light intensity. The correct answer is therefore C. Number 28. Which diseases can be successfully treated with antibiotics? So antibiotics are a class of drugs used to treat bacterial infections. Rickets is a vitamin deficiency disease, specifically vitamin C, and viruses are unaffected by antibiotics. So the correct answer here must be B. Number 29. Which statement about human sexual reproduction is correct? So the correct answer here is A. All gametes are haploid. A haploid nucleus is one that contains half the normal number of chromosomes. During fertilization, two haploid nuclei fuse to form a diploid zygote. Number 30. Where is estrogen produced? The female sex hormone estrogen is produced in the ovaries. The primary male sex hormone testosterone is produced in the testes. Number 31. Which row shows the correct information about mitosis? So mitosis can be defined as nuclear division giving rise to genetically identical cells. The exact replication of chromosomes occurs before mitosis, so daughter cells have the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. The correct answer here is therefore D. Number 32. Polydactyly is a condition that can occur in cats and results in affected individuals having extra toes. The diagram shows the inheritance of the condition in a family of cats. What does the family tree show about the allele for polydactyly? Okay, so if we look to the bottom right of the diagram, we can see that both parents in the second row have polydactyly, but not all of their offspring do. Now, if the allele were recessive, both parents and all three offspring would be homo homozygous recessive polydactyl cats. The fact that one of the offspring doesn't have the condition means that both parents must be heterozygous for the gene. The allele is therefore dominant and the correct answer is C. Pause the video and study the Punnett squares if you don't quite get what I've just said and go and watch my video on monohybrid inheritance if you need a more comprehensive overview. Number 33. The photomicrograph shows a cross-section through a marum grass leaf. Which feature is an adaptation of a xerophyte? So xerophytes are plants that are adapted to survive in dry environments. So they have features that help to maximize water uptake and minimize water loss. Inside the marum grass, there are many fine hairs which help to trap humid air, reducing the rate at which water vapor is lost from the leaf. Number 34. Some statements about mutations are given. 
which statements are correct. Number one, a random change in the amino acid sequence of DNA causes gene mutation. This is wrong, it's a random change in the base sequence of DNA that causes gene mutation. Number two, a mutation is a genetic change, correct? Number three, ionizing radiation decreases the rate of mutation. This is wrong as ionizing radiation increases the rate of mutation. And finally, number four, new alleles are formed by mutations. This one is also correct, so the correct statements are two and four, so the right answer is D. Number 35. The graph shows the growth of a population of rabbits in one area. Which statements are correct? Number one, at X the birth rate is higher than the death rate. Yes, the population at X is growing, which means that birth rate must be higher than death rate. Number two, at X there are no deaths and the population is limited by a lack of food. Wrong. There's no evidence that there are no deaths and the population is growing rapidly. It's clearly not limited. Finally, number three, at Y the birth rate and death rate are equal. Yes, we know this because there is no change in population. The correct answer for this one is therefore B. Number 36. In guinea pigs, the allele for black fur is dominant and the allele for white fur is recessive. A test cross can be used to determine the genotype of a guinea pig with black fur. What would be the expected result of a test cross if the guinea pig with black fur was homozygous? Okay, so because the allele for black fur is dominant, we can use a test cross to determine whether the black guinea pig is homozygous or heterozygous. We simply breed the guinea pig with a known homozygous recessive guinea pig. If the black guinea pig is homozygous, it will have two dominant alleles, meaning 100% of the offspring will be black heterozygotes. So the correct answer is C. I recommend you pause the video again and take your time to study the Punnett square. Number 37. The diagram shows part of the nitrogen cycle. Which row shows the correct processes for R, S and T? Okay, so process R involves the conversion of nitrogen gas in the atmosphere to nitrates in the soil by bacteria. This is referred to as nitrogen fixation. Process S is nitrification. That's the conversion of ammonium ions in the soil to nitrates that can be used by plants. Finally, T is the process by which bacteria in the soil convert nitrates to atmospheric nitrogen gas, and this is called denitrification. The correct answer is therefore C. Number 38. During eutrophication, what causes the death of fish? The correct answer here is D. Decreased concentration of oxygen in the water. Go and watch my video on topic 20.3 if you're unsure why. Number 39. Which product is made using an enzyme rather than bacteria or fungi? So insulin is made using bacteria, penicillin and mycoprotein are both made from fungi, and lactose-free milk is made using the enzyme lactase. So the correct answer is C. Okay, final question, question number 40. Some ways in which humans make use of organisms are listed. What are examples of genetic modification? So number one, using yeast to produce ethanol. That's an example of biotechnology. Number two, artificial selection of sheep with thick wool. That's selective breeding. And number three, using bacteria to produce human substances. That is genetic modification because it involves inserting human DNA into bacterial DNA. The correct answer for this final question is therefore D. Okay, so that's it for another extended multiple choice paper. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. Click the thumbs up if you benefited from this video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be notified when I upload the next one.